Residents at a Midland County mobile home park say the property owner isn't doing anything to address the park's problems. That's why they reached out to TV5 with the hope of getting some answers. TV5's James Felton joins us with that. James? We're talking about Evergreen Whispering Pines MHP in Lee Township. Today, residents voiced their frustrations, and the property owners spoke with us to give their side of the story. They want to take in the money. They want to keep raising the rent, keep uh, adding on additional bills, fees, um, but they don't want to provide anything to improve things. Kim Schumacher says she was fired as office manager at Evergreen Whispering Pines MHP on August 7th. She says the owners of the mobile home park have dropped the ball for the tenants she used to serve. Schumacher says during her time as manager, she noticed glaring issues from ownership, stating they don't even have an operating license. Our license for our address is still under the former owner. It expires at the end of this month. Schumacher was one of many residents we talked to who say the mobile home park needs a lot of improvement. Low water pressure, overgrown trees threatening mobile homes, and dilapidated trailers were just a few of their grievances. There's a lagoon septic pond out back that is covered in algae because it's not properly maintained. Um, there are spots in here where you can smell nothing but septic all the time. We don't have an acting manager. We don't know what's going on. We don't even know if our leases are valid because they keep upping our rent with no logical reason for anything in here. We just want answers. Steve Sharon, general counsel for Evergreen Whispering Pines MHP LLC, tells us they have an operating license. There was a license in place and the park didn't go unlicensed. Just the change of ownership process got delayed by a couple of uh, administrative issues, but uh, it is moving forward uh, with the license in the name of Evergreen Whispering Pines MHP LLC. And regional property manager Richard Baker says the tree issue will be addressed soon. We're looking at having them trimmed up this year before the end of the season, yes. Baker also tells us the park office will welcome a new manager on Monday. The new park manager starts on the 16th. Baker went on to say that the water pressure has been tested numerous times and meets the requirement of 29 PSI. He also tells us the green algae eats the bad algae, so the more green you see, the better. As for Sharon, he tells us the new manager will hit the ground running. We have worked cooperatively with Eagle and Water District Number 1 in Lee Township to get the residents a better quality water coming from the municipal water system, and that's gone into place. And now our efforts will focus with the new manager on further cleanup of the park, and we're also working on taking some of the abandoned trailers and getting them into shape. Sharon also says that the company was having issues with Schumacher's performance, and they gave her ample time to improve. When that didn't happen, she was let go. For her part, Schumacher says she's not a disgruntled former employee. She just wants what's best for the residents. I would just like to make sure that the tenants that are living here get what they need. The property owners told us that trailers that can't be refurbished will be removed.